Hi there, welcome to another video. It's been a while since I've recorded any video, but lately I have been working a lot with the local LLMs again, and I got to know about Misty. I haven't tried it yet, so I thought that I will create a video while reviewing and seeing how Misty works, and maybe this is helpful for your own work as well. So what is Misty? You may have seen some of my previous videos where we've shared how to run open source LLMs locally on your machine entirely privately, which means none of your data goes out. But we had to go through a lot of setup by installing it in our Docker and then going on a browser to run it. Now Misty, apparently it says it's one app and no, it's a one click setup there is no Docker, no terminal, nothing is required, which makes it quite attractive for a lot of people because not everyone wants to run any commands and uh, let alone this might be too much work for you. And I thought that the angle that Misty has taken um, attracts a lot of users. Let's go ahead and try it out today. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to download it. Now it seems that it is available on Windows, Mac, and I'm not sure if what this is. This is Linux. Okay, fantastic. And uh, for Mac, I have M1, so I'm going to use the M1 installer. I will click allow and the installation has started already, as you can see here. And once it completes, I'm going to click and in a moment, I will have, okay, so maybe I will have to get things up here. So take this, drag it to applications, and I believe that's it. So I'm now going to search for Misty, and it shows up. And the next thing that we will see is it asks if we really want to open it up. I will say yes, open. And it opened, it's taking some time. But here is the first, I will make it full screen so that we can run through it locally. So it says, welcome to Misty, how we would like to get started. So apparently it seems that you can have your own local models. It says you can use Meta, Llama 3, Microsoft Fi, IBM Granite, and we can also connect to OpenAI GPT, Cloud Sonnet using their API keys. So this is really nice because you can have your some models where you don't want to leave your data out on the internet but at the same time if you really want to you have the ability within the same app to do so. it's saying download gamma 2 because i don't i just installed it and i don't have any models so i think it's saying that out of this list you can install any of the models to get started i will do that uh, i think i will take Llama 2 in this case. It's a 4.7 gig model and model is only downloaded if not already available, yep. And it seems that this Misty also works with Olama because it says getting started, get started quickly using Olama models from here. So I do have Olama already on my machine. So I'll click on continue and see what happens next. Okay, so that's it. You can now start chatting with the Llama models. Interesting. So I already had Llama 3.2 from Olama, and I think we can confirm this by running this on terminal. Let's see if I can get this here and make it a little bigger. I do have all LS. And in a minute, let's see what do we get. Okay, so as you can see, Olama already has these models in my Misty app. And how do we know it's Misty? So let's come back here. So in Misty, we have Llama 3.2 available. So how do I find out where my other models are? So maybe click on this. So here we go. I already have the installed models, I can click here, and all of them are coming from Olama, it seems, because if I go back to the terminal, all of these models are coming from Olama. So all my Olama models are already available here. 
but it says I can also install online models and GGUF models. I will cover uh, GGUF models in a separate video if you are interested. If you are interested, just uh, do write a comment. Uh, and then there is the settings page. I can click on remote model providers and click here and I can connect to OpenAI and various models within that. This is pretty nice because I can connect to a whole lot of different online providers here. But for now, I think I will go back. I, I will do one feature per video so that this video doesn't become too big. Okay, so let's ask Llama to write a program for us. So write a program in Python that returns Returns that returns first n prime numbers from one to n plus one, and let's hit enter. Let's see. So it says it's waiting for the first response, which means it is definitely going locally. And here you go, it has created a Python program using this algorithm and then that's pretty much it in this program it also tells how it is going to do that and then we can ask a follow-up question write test to confirm that your algorithm is correct so now you can see that it's pretty fast it's immediately telling us that we can use the unit test module to do all these things. And then it's telling that we need to put this in a module named primes.py and all these things. That's pretty interesting. Now there are many other options that we can use, but in the first instance, it looks pretty promising, pretty stable. Now I'm going to explore a lot of misty features. So if you're interested, do write a comment below what all things you would like us to uh, make video on. It could be related to the LLM models and things that confuse you in the area of AI tools or AI development or how you can use LLM models in your workflows or um, reviewing a lot of other apps that can make you much better uh, in your day-to-day -day works. So please let me know and I will see you in the next video.